Hey guys, it's Richard here from Legion Gaming. In this video, I will talk about future DLC coming for Battlefield Hardline. Basically, what's coming after the Betrayal DLC for this game. Because as many of you know, there's at least six months to the next Battlefield game releases. And Hardline, until then, will technically be the primary Battlefield game. But, before you end this video, just like say, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more content on everything Battlefield Hardline. Now, the main sort of reason why we think there may be more DLC for Hardline is because Zach, the multiplayer head for Hardline, said there might be more DLC for Battlefield Hardline. He said he couldn't talk about any specifics now, really until the Betrayal DLC launches or until he gets the go-ahead from EA, but he said that there may be more DLC coming for Hardline. Now, something else that he talked about was he said that they currently couldn't talk about that and they were also working on trying to make premium for everybody so like trying to get all the DLCs free to everyone which would be absolutely awesome to be able to play in populated servers on all the DLCs and just add all of those to the game that'd be absolutely awesome and amazing now as far as the timeline for this I would expect this to definitely come after March 15th which is when the Betrayal DLC launches for everyone, so non-premium users. And to be honest, probably an announcement will come after the Battlefield 5 announcement, and probably a week or two after. So in my opinion, I think we're going to get a Battlefield 5 announcement around March 20th. So that would make this sort of free DLC announcement, or making premium free to everyone, come around April, early April. Uh, that'd just be ideal for me. Um, now. Me personally, again, the biggest thing would be to have all premium stuff free to everyone. That would be so awesome to be able to have populated servers of all the DLC maps just constantly being played. That would be amazing. Just put them in the regular map rotation. Now, what else would we want in DLC? I've seen a couple comments talking about uh, Blackout 2.0 and stuff like that. So that's basically would just be more night maps, which I would be completely on board with. It's easy for the devs to make, but it switches up the gameplay a lot and really gives us a new map, which is also really awesome. Um, maybe some extra game modes like um, Pure Hotwire or King of the Hill. Um, those are modes they tested out in CTE a while ago, but no one really wanted to hop into CTE for a new game mode, just really for the new maps and weapons is the only reason why people would hop into CTE. So they took them off, but to be able to play those game modes would be really awesome, and we know that they're in development. I'm just going to briefly go over both those game modes. Um, so pure hotwire is basically hotwire without explosives, so just your guns and your secondaries, and that's the only way you can take out vehicles. I think maybe you'd have grenades too, but uh, the M320, the RPG would all be disabled. As far as King of the Hill, for those of you who are familiar with Call of Duty, it's more like hardpoint, so basically uh, an objective pops up around different spots on the map and you have to fight over it. I think that would be an absolutely awesome game mode for Battlefield Hardline and I really hope they do add that. Now some other things they were experimenting with were uh, servers that had 80% health and servers that had 125% health, although I think that was more for PC. There is still a possibility that they would bring that. but. Personally, I think that was more for PC because now they're bringing a slower time to kill to PC, so those servers may have just been tests to test out the t various time to kill and just a straight, flat um, damage nerf or buff. And yeah, again, we can probably expect this in April to get some more information, or even after Betrayal announces. Uh, whenever we get more information on this, I will definitely cover it because there is a while until the next Battlefield game comes out. And while I am really hyped for it, whatever it is, I will still probably play Hardline for a while until then. And I'd like a lot of new content to be able to post on my channel for that and just to play. Again, if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more content on everything Battlefield Hardline. But that's what it was. Big guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.